film drama Nomadland has scooped three Oscars including Best Picture, while British stars Sir Anthony Hopkins and Daniel Kaluuya have won acting awards. Nomadland's Chloe Zhao made history as the first non-white woman and second woman overall to win Best Director. 883 Sir Anthony is the oldest ever recipient of Best Actor. While Best Supporting Actor Kaluuya is the first black British actor to win an Oscar. I did not expect to get this, said Sir Anthony, who missed the ceremony. British actress turned writer director Emerald Fennell also won a screenplay award. The star, who plays Camilla Parker Bowles in The Crown, won Best Original Screenplay for Promising Young Woman which she also directed. Frances McDormand won Best Actress for her role in Nomadland, while veteran South Korean actress Ya Yoon Yoon won Best Supporting Actress for Minari. The trophies were handed out in one of the Grand Halls at Los Angeles's Stylish Union Station to allow for a COVID safe ceremony. While many UK based nominees were at a venue in London, although Sir Anthony was at neither. Sir Anthony won Best Actor for his masterful performance as a man suffering with dementia in The Father, 29 years after he won his first Oscar for The Silence. Of the Lambs. His victory was the biggest surprise of the night. The award had been tipped to go to the late Chadwick Boseman, who died aged 43 last August, from R. Amy's Black Bottom. Sir Anthony was neither in law nor at the British Film Institute in London, the ceremony's UK venue, so instead posted a message on Instagram on Monday morning. At 83 years of age, I did not expect to get this award. I really didn't, he said in a video filmed in his homeland of Wales. I'm very grateful to the Academy, and thank you. Sir Anthony went on to pay tribute to Boseman, whom he said had been taken from us far too early, and said he felt very privileged and honored. The Father, which will be released in the UK on 11 June, also won Best Adapted Screenplay for Sir Christopher Hampton and director Florian Zeller who called Sir Anthony the greatest living actor. The slow-burning drama about a woman living in her van in the American West after the financial crash won the top prize for Best Film, plus Best Director and Best Actress. McDormand, who now has three Best Actress Oscars, is one of the only professional performers in the film. Most of the rest of the cast, is made up of real people playing fictionalized versions of themselves. I and her acceptance speech, Zhao thanked the real life nomads for teaching us the power of resilience and hope. Before Zhao, the only woman to have won the directing prize in the Oscars' 92 year history was Catherine Bigelow for The Hurt Locker in 2010. McDormand spoke of her hopes for the revival of big screen cinema, asking viewers, one day very, very soon, Take everyone you know into a theater, shoulder to shoulder in that dark space, and watch every film that's represented here tonight. She then said, We give this one to our wolf, and howled like a wolf, a tribute to the film sound mixer Michael Wolf Snyder, who took his own life at the age of 35 last month. Meanwhile, black and white film Mank, which led the nominations with 10, picked up two awards, as did Sound of Metal. Judas and the Black Messiah, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. And Zolda The 32-year-old Londoner won Best Supporting Actor for his incendiary performance as Black Panther's leader Fred Hampton in Judas and the Black Messiah. What a man. How blessed we are that we live in a lifetime where he existed, the actor said. I am humbled to be nominated for portraying a man whose principles I deeply respect and for guiding me to walk in his footsteps. Kaluuya also paid tribute to his mother, who was watching at the BFI, who he said, gave me my factory settings, so I can stand at my fullest height. But she could be seen asking what is he talking about, when her excited son told the global audience of millions, my mum met my dad, they had sex, it's amazing. 
I'm here. I'm so happy to be alive, so I'm going to celebrate that tonight. Yo Yoon Young became the first South Korean actress to win an Oscar for her role as the grandmother in Korean American family drama Minari. She beat Olivia Coleman, Amanda Seyfried, Maria Bakalova, and Glenn Close to the prize for Best Supporting Actress. It was Close's eighth nomination without a win. Yoon told the crowd she doesn't believe in competition and paid tribute to her fellow nominee, asking, how can I win over Glenn Close? The night's other British winners included Emerald Fennell for her first film as writer and director. Until now, Fennell has been best known for appearing in front of the camera, playing Patsy in BBC drama called The Midwife and Camilla Parker Bowles in Netflix's The Crown.